we did not have any experience at all. I could barely grow anything in the dirt. <laughs> But we were always interested in it and like the concept of how clean everything was. So we got interested in hydroponic growing um, back in 1984. We actually went, when we first got married, we went down to Epcot Center and we saw them growing lettuce and spinning it around. They said they were going to uh, grow lettuce and stuff in space. We just thought that was amazing. Well, Bradwood Farms, we do a little bit of everything. Our main product right now is the hydroponic greenhouse. We do raise beef cattle and we have some hogs we raise. I have some chicks I'm raising up and in the spring we do maple syrup and in the fall we have hops. The property is 130 acres. It was formerly a Girl Scout camp and uh, we've been here since 1999. I grow rosemary because I like rosemary. <laughs> More dandelion greens. And down here I have some tatsoi, which is another Asian green that's really nutritious for you that gives a nice bitter flavor to, um, to your salads. We found Crop King online, of course, because they're so close to us, and um, contacted them and signed up for the grower school. That was the first thing we did. The experience in the grower school was very positive, and it was, you know, looked like it's something that we would be able to handle and do, and it you know, would take some work, but already having a small business, we figured we'd be able to have it take off. It's been wonderful. They've been very helpful with me, and whenever I call and ask questions, they help me out. You know, this is something, change of life, and let's just go for it and start up the business. And then these little ones over here are going to be mini bok choys. They take about six weeks to grow, and they're a nice little, I harvest them like three or four, as you can see in the cubes, there's three or four of them. And when you harvest them and you cut them in half, they're really good on the grill, you grill them. Then we decided to, look, you know, after going to grower school, we started looking at different greenhouse packages from some other companies around the world. And, you know, we were working with some big ones in the Midwest. And their expertise wasn't there. They'd send me a list of what needed to be in the package, and it didn't make any sense. And we worked with Crop King, and, you know, their whole package made sense. And they had a nice book or the manual to put everything together. And it was just a, a good fit. Katie and I built the whole greenhouse ourselves. I found that the manual and all the pieces were there, everything was you know, packaged out, and it was, it was relatively easy to put the whole greenhouse together. I mean, it's just definitely something that, I think most people could build this greenhouse, and I think that's probably the most important thing that we looked at too, was we really didn't want to hire a bunch of contractors to come in. Um, I had some of the equipment that we needed to do it, but we just thought that with the package that Crop King had put together, it was something that we could do on our own, which made a lot of sense for us and helped keep costs down. And then here's another big seller, watercress. It's supposed to be one of the most nutritious foods in the world. It loves growing here in the hydroponics, even the flowers are edible. And um, it has a really nice peppery flavor. And a lot of people like to put it in their salads or put it on burgers. And I like to make a potato-based soup out of it. The main people that we sell to, um, we have two avenues that we go right now. It's changed over the years, but right now we're selling to a CSA program that services mostly the Columbus area, and they take a thousand heads a week, and they like when we grow specialty items for them because they like to have the variety in their packages. And then we also do a farmer's market once a week, which is a great opportunity to get feedback on the products that we have because we have a lot of customers that are repeat customers, and when I trial stuff, they try it out and they let me know how good or bad or whatever they think about it. Everything is picked the day before the market, and we do have a wide variety besides the lettuce. We have the Asian greens, arugula, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, and so people like to come to us so they know it's all fresh and they can get everything in one spot. All of our produce is super clean. We don't have any sprays, herbicides, pesticides. Yeah, with how we choose, you go through the seed catalogs, look at something that might be a good fit, and I trial it, and then I take it out to our farm market, and I also send samples to my CSA people and see if they like it, then I'll, I'll try to grow it for them. And nine times out of 10, I've been successful with the different things I've been growing. Now, the main thing that motivates me is when people come back week after week and say how good the produce is. That's my main motivation. I think so too. I mean, we've made friends from our uh, farm market. We've had people come down to the farm. Um, we've gone on trips with people. Uh, we've made some really great friends from our farm market. and. Um, it's just, it's a really good experience to have somebody come back and just tell you how great it is. And Being a hydroponic grower, I know it's a fresh quality, clean product I'm delivering to people. There's no worries. I think the most rewarding part of our job is being able to work together and be here at the farm.